The two suspects who were being sought as part of a national manhunt for several months are now being held in the facility right behind me here in Newton. Yesterday, 50-year-old Tangela Louise Parker and 61-year-old Eric Carroll Parker, both of Taylorsville, were extradited from Maricopa County, Arizona, back to Catawba County to face charges in connection to the murder of a woman in January of this year. North Carolina DPS transferred custody of the Parkers to the Hickory Police Department. That's where they were served with true bills of indictment in connection to the murder of 51-year-old Falifa Michelle Marlowe. The fatal shooting occurred January 13th of this year at TCS Designs in Hickory. The shooting occurred at 2.30 p.m. on that date at the business on 9th Avenue Northeast. Authorities said it was the result of a dispute between two employees. Officers found the victim in the business suffering from gunshot wounds. Ms. Marlowe was transported to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem, where she passed away as a result of her injuries. On July 13th, members of the U.S. Marshals Service Task Force approached a residence at the intersection of West Salter Drive and North 31st Avenue in Phoenix and arrested the Parkers who had been residing there under the alias names of Jason and Elizabeth Reardon. The Honda CRV they were known to drive was also found at the residence. The Marshals Service and Hickory Police have been investigating to learn if anyone helped the couple make it out of North Carolina. Various reports said that it's likely that the Parkers lived out of their car during their journey to Arizona. There were also reports that the couple begged for money at various locations along the way, including rest stops. They eventually accumulated enough money to rent their home in Phoenix. Tangela Parker was served with a true bill of indictment for murder. Eric Parker was served with a true bill of indictment for accessory after the fact. The two suspects were placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility just behind me. They're being held without bond. They're scheduled to appear in Superior Court here in Newton this upcoming Monday. Reporting from the Catawba County Justice Center, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News.